Hello and greeting awesome people. I'm going to talk about the new update for Jenny HUD or Jenny Body. I will explain how to update if you like to follow the, the tutorial here. It will be helpful for you, I hope. So I'm using the latest one, the Gianni version 5. And if you want to get the, the latest version, all you have to do is just wear the previous HUD for your previous body you have like from starting from the four version the fourth version up to the fifth every time you attach your HUD it's gonna be re-delivering a new update if there's any so you will get the update once you attach the previous HUD the previous HUD was just 4.9 if you have that it's gonna send you the latest if you have any version 4.x so it's gonna send you the update anyway so the logo has changed to the black and the white signature sign which is lo looks so beautiful and cool and when you expand the HUD the first thing you notice that uh, th there is uh, some, some new um, makeover for the new HUD so I'm not gonna show you the previous HUD I'm going to talk about the fifth as the default now I'm going to explain what to do with if you have the fifth HUD or the fifth version so these are, are for the minimize and maximize the size of the actual HUD and then you have the minimize tab and the closing tab so I don't want to close it I want to keep it and then you have hide body by part so this is you are used to in the previous version but the, the thing that is missing here was the nick fix or the nick sheath that's gone so uh, you don't need it with the aim to go to bake some mesh so basically they have it given you some sh grade, gradient shading for the nick area to use as bake some mesh but other than that the body fits the both heads that are just booming right now the Kadwa heads and the Lelotka heads so I'm, I'm using my Lelotka head the Skylar one so they have upgraded the body and in inside the folder you will find two versions for the body it's the new neck size or the new body and the default neck size so that default one you can use with your Katwa, Katwa, Katwa heads but with the new newer version of Lelotica that fits Gianni perfectly so starting from that version 5 you will just use that the new neck fix or the new neck uh, inside your f folder and then you have all this the same options again so this is gonna clear out the alphas that I have on this area finger and nails you can alpha right and left and two nails and as well you can hide the right to right to toenails or the left toenails whichever you like by default if you click on the feet it's gonna hide them automatically so like as you can see this is gonna hide the toes and uh, toenails I mean so this area hides them so you can just click back to unhide okay and the same thing when you click on the hands it's gonna give you which hand you are hiding the nails on so these are the left hand and those are the right hands so you can just simply use that to hide the finger alone the fingernail alone or just just show the fingernails if you like so this is another thing here you can play with then moving on to the saved slots for you to save your alphas and then once you have made this um, an alpha that you want to save just you click on save and it's gonna tell you on local that you have currently saved this alpha if you will like and then if you like to go to the previous one you will notice that it shows in green this is shows you the alpha that you have saved in the first slot and this is going to show you the the alpha that is is it currently saved in this slot so this is no problem for you you can clear 
this preview if you don't want to, to keep it so you can see the blue ones that are actually on your body so these are the default ones because they are looking hot, hidden and they have the blue color which is the alpha presets here so the hidden preset is just going to be blue and the visible one is going to be white and then you have the option to save and then next to it is apply so if you like to apply the previous one you just hit apply and you notice it's going to take care of that for you if you like to apply the current one you have made you just hit apply as well and then you come to the delete options deleting options you have two deleting options once what the first one is just gonna delete the selected and then you mark the selected by the arrow showing the selected um, slot that you would like to delete and this one deletes all alpha if you have saved so many and you just want to delete them all you just go to this is like the last resort here to delete all that you don't want to use or just to do a start over all over again so as I explained the presets look in hide and show this is the color this is something new this is color oriented this is so nice also they have uh, included in the previous version and the, this version the option to hide and show parts of the body that you can play with using the menu here but the new thing is that you have no problem to select which one to, to show or hide so the the show and hide color to uh, color um, guide for you to understand which is which which is hidden and which is showing to you but also in this HUD you can just click on the area that you want to hide or show as well so my torso I can hide or I can show once the X mark selected in here that shows that it's effectively hiding my torso if I want to enable my torso back I just click on this X to be taken off away from the check mark you can call the check mark from this torso to be visible again and you'll notice it's going back to normal so you have two pages here to play with page one and page two more more stuff to hide you can just go with the neck make it visible or hide the neck but I want my neck to be visible I just just showing you how how it works this is neat feature so I'm guessing in the future the color guide could stay but the menu th there used to be hide and show you can just click on which one to come up if you want uh, to hide then you click on the menu on the previous version but in the in the new version you would you would have one pop-up menu to select which one to hide and which one to, to, to show by making sure the check mark is removed from the part that you want to make make it shown anyway moving on to the layers you still have the tattoo underwear and clothing layers so in this version they have kept the hybrid version they have previously up worked on on the 4.9 and they have kept the layers so you can still use this body as pixel mesh or use it for applying appliers so and the in the the usefulness of that if you, uh, you like to use pixel mesh and then also use the appliers you will have to play with these layers in pixel mesh normally we don't need to care for these layers but with this hybrid body you have the option to play with your tattoos and underwear if they are applied or clothes that you would like to keep as well as pixel mesh so they would show on the pixel mesh as i i'm using pixel mesh right now but i have also applied my tattoos as the hair I'm wearing on my Gianni and also the color, color guide here to show you hide and show the hide one would be going to blue the show one is going to white and blend and mask option are just also colored guide uh, colored to so for you to understand which is which so the mix the mask one is going to be black so blending option is just the gray 
status that you can see your your layer is on right now but the masking option is going to make that layer goes black if you just click on the mask option so these are options useful if you have multiple appliers that you have used like one on the tattoo and one on the underwear you make sure you go in the layer that you want to make it visible and make sure it's visible from this corner here and then you blend it with the other previous layer if you have like a tattoo and underwear and you would like to have this tattoo uh, blended well with this underwear that you are wearing so you're gonna play with these layers and it's not gonna be hard for you to figure it out since it's color uh, coded so it's not it's not a problem now and then the theme this the themes the same thing for you to understand here in the clothing section that you can do that as well so you have these layers and also you have bakes on mesh but with bakes on mesh, mesh it's much 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 easier to just add on the things that you want to appear to make them appear on your your avatar and it's not going to be an issue to have multiple stuff worn on that layer because the default layer supports up to 62 um, things to be worn on so it's going to be useful very much for you if you go th to that route but keeping the hybrid is, is, is enabling much more um, stuff like materials and everything on the skin and going to talk to, to, to you about this section when it comes in the third tab here but I will move to the second tab so the second tab you find the settings so Bakes on Mesh, I um, already enabled it, but if you haven't, you will need to go to Bakes on Mesh or BOM and click on that and then you select to activate it or deactivate. If you're going to deactivate it, make sure that you have your alphas on and then you reapply your skins from the appliers. But once you, ha you have went to Bakes on Mesh, if you have your alphas on, worn, I would suggest that you take the alpha off the way if, sh if understanding if, if the alpha is worn is going to be red colored colored is going to be showing you a red color on your skin that is just the warning or the the way SL tells you that you need to take care of that to be able to see Bexon Mesh right you have the viewer the latest one that supports Bexon Mesh and you need to take off that alpha layer that was used to hide the default uh, avatar but by now we have this mesh is, is replacing the default avatar so we don't need to have an alpha anymore and we can just play with the layer that directly from the servers the the bakes on the server side and just gonna be worn on your avatar as it used to be in the back back days back of the days so anyway, so this is the section that tells you to go back on mesh. If you have enabled that, it's going to be fine for you. And then you can find instructions by clicking on that. It's going to bring you a pop-up telling you about the website to visit the, the website for GNE or Signature in general. And you read more info about the product if you like. Teleport to the store is previous, tedious and clear, straightforward. You go to the store if you want then the auto hide is just you have the ability to enable the feature when you have something worn that has a script inside it like these shorts they have script inside them and to go there and you will find the script for signature auto hide so that if I disable the auto hide and I try to wear my the same thing I'm wearing right now the auto hide will not be effective but in order for this auto hide to work, I need to make sure that the auto hide in my signature HUD is enabled as well as an on. So that makes the cuts that was in previous here in previous section works and hide this the theme the same thing without the need to make an alpha and save it and everything. If your clothing is going to have the auto hide itself, it's not needed to really go and hide these sections by hand it's going to be automatic so it's, it's, it's a useful feature and easy to do and it's not it's not something new and also the anchor lock is not something new as well 
it's just when you sit down you'll notice that your feet may be bent in a way that you don't like to, hit, to see it's not natural way so with an ankle lock is going to fix that for you so this is I use all the time when I'm trying to, to use the sit pose or animation that uh, I'm seated seating in a seat or something I'm sitting in a seat so this is gonna be useful and also delete the script make sure that you have a copy of the HUD before you delete the script so if you do delete the scripts inside the HUD it's not gonna be changing anything on your head your body so it's gonna be fixed so you need to be aware of that then moving on to the hand poses right now you can just enable the single hand motion or just fix it pose for the hand these are the fix it poses that they have included from the previous and everything's still the same but you have also the motion one when you enable the motion you can just select like which one to go in a pose and which one to keep on animated so these are the, the the usefulness of that but also they have included the third party AO so if you are using a third party AO such as Vista or another brand and you would like to see the animation working from that other HUD not from the Gianni HUD or your Geralt HUD so make sure you select the third party option and you'll notice the hands are stopping for the their movement but since I'm using a Pinto pose here so my hands are just normally back to normal moving again if I use that or I can just hit them to scroll with whatever sequence they have in stored stored in this motion um, option for you so this is pretty much self-explanatory and does not need more stuff to play with it's not that that's a big deal right now so moving on to the next there you go the tinting layer or layers to tint so this is where you can play with uh, tattoos that you have applied like I have applied my hair I said so I can just tint my my body appliers the way I want see that you see how it changes colors as I go with the sliders here so this is gonna play with the light option or make it darker or lighter and this is the hue and saturation they have enabled you to use like this is like SL, SL code for you if you understand SL code how to tint color with it or the RGB way or hexadecimal way or just by clicking on something that like picker color picker so when you click that it's gonna show up in local what the color values that you are using right now f so you can just copy them if you want and use it over anything that you like so going to the shine you can just do that fingernails two nails tattoo underwear and clothing so these are the layers that you I have spoken about in the first tab and this is the same this the same thing you can just play with the tinting of these layers as you wish from the tinting option and this bottom row is all white because you have the option to save on it so when you click on that it's gonna give you would you like to save that option after you after you have tinted that layer you can just save it if you want so moving on to the skin effects which you have noticed in the upgraded version and they have included so many neat effects I would say like the like looseness and and intensities they they remain the same but more uh, visible now how to control them better and now the skin texture as well I'm not sure what hundred percent what they do but I always enable them and try to loosen up or uh, decrease my glossiness I don't want my body to be crazy shiny or something like that but if you like that you can just pump it all the way up and then you have skin effects that you would see on the skin when you are in like high graphics using your high graphics you will notice them um, maybe this is like a little effect there here's more some more you'll notice 
the changes but I'm not sure if it's showing you in the, in the, in the recording right now how they go but the the width feel is just the awesome effect that you will maybe use if you just go into the beach and you can see it clearly visible on your skin and which is blending nicely if you ask me if you like to use that option you will just go with, with the Skylar head and you would also use the wet feature so wearing the wet feature is just gonna be shown on your head and body which is so perfectly blending fine together and just make it look outstanding for me I just when I saw this feature in Skylar head I remembered this feature right away in Gianni so it's just nice way to to blend in and, and make them look so perfectly matching it's, it's a nice thing and again you can just play with the glossiness and intensity for all of, for uh, this is like a general thing for the body not for the, the effects individually but for the overall so you can just play with that the skins these are the default skin tones that are used in Gianni and then you have the same thing to play with for the nails you have option to tint your fingernails or toenails depending on which color you, that you like to use to match the skin, the skin you are wearing if you are not wearing the default one I mean if or if you are using the default one you can just select different tones as well if you, if you are like to go wild with that so it's just an option for you as well you can notice this is the new feature here that you can just select which tone the toe the toes or the fingers that you want to tint the way you want so last but not least this section here which some people don't understand much so I'm gonna try to explain it to you this is the texture drop box this is we will not be using much or you will not be using much but as a user if you don't have texture that you make your, yourself like if you have a texture that you want to test out this would be the place here to to drop it in and see the effect right away on your ex exact mesh that you're using right now or your the body you're using if you are using their dummy will be some there will be something else that that you can test with but here you can just test it how it's going to be visible on your body depending on the option you select so if I just have a texture and and I click input you will have an instruction more what to go with this next so if you have a texture you put it inside here then you select the destination and the body part and then you click apply so this section is clearly not for us as users to play with much but here is the other thing when you want to clear like I have enabled these as a tattoo layer the hair I'm, I'm wearing so I can just go to this area or this se section and select either the tattoo or the body or the underwear or clothing I can just select which item from this list that I want to clear then go into the body part and then you you will notice that each destination has certain body parts that are enabled like if I go to specular you will notice some of these are not working it's not going to work the feet no the torso nor the legs only top and bottom normal as well you can just play with top and bottom but if you go with a tattoo you have all these enabled for you to clear out so you will just select the destination and then you select the part you would like your tattoo or applier to be removed from and then you are gonna hit apply to body once you do that the effect will immediately take place and you will notice the tattoo or the stuff you're using is going to be removed but keep in mind that this is only for appliers so we are in Bexon mesh this method is not going to be effective the effective way to clear out the Bexon mesh is by clicking the detach option from your inventory 
over the bix on mesh item that you have used anyway this is my quick not quick or this is my guide for you if you are using the signature body I would hope that you understand it much better this way I try to explain as much in detail what I know and I hope if I have something wrong you can just write in the comment below if you like to understand anything feel free to ask in the group the group is very friendly and we will support anything as much as we know and we are will reply for any inquiries by other users it's not gonna be a problem for you to understand anything I hope um, I'm going to try to talk to about this head in my in a next video or so telling you what's inside this hut if you like it or not to buy it because it's gonna be today is the last day at the event skin fair you just get get this head for three k three three seven hundred or um, three thousand seven hundred lindens it's gonna be back to the original price which is 5k once the event is over so it's gonna be over today 29th of March so make sure if you like this head to come and get it thanks for watching